the day will be shortened, friends. Jesus Christ want to finish his work fast as possible. And now we are living emergency time. So we have to work like never before, friends, says Jesus. I must do the work of the one who sent me while it is a day. The night is coming. No one can work, friend. Jesus Christ is coming and he want us to get ready and work for him like never before, friends. If you work, notice, if you preach the three angels message, which means this final warning that we give given to the whole world so that they don't have to receive the mark of the beast, they are pagan sun worship day that a lot of Sunday churches they adopt for so many years. Notice, they adopt for so many years and they don't want to get rid of it. Actually, is the devil behind the scene. They get in there from the Roman Catholic Church papacy. They still worship their tradition. False Sabbath. That, you no, know, they themselves, they says in their old version of catechism. Notice. They says Sunday worship is their mark of authority. And that's why they are daughters. Notice. This system has a daughter because according to Revelation chapter 17, Revelation called this power the mother of harlot. Notice. Because this power is fornicating. Notice. Jesus Christ is the one who died for mankind and he's the one who draw everybody to him. But this power try to blind people and they are any Christ that they try to call in everybody to them and they so call the mother of the church. And that's one of the reasons they say, well, you don't have to go to Jesus Christ. They, they have their own priest, mankind, that they say, go to them. And notice. That they say, well, they are priests and they represent Jesus. So if you confess your sin to them, they will forgive you. First, according to Bible, Jesus Christ is the only mediator, notice, between God and mankind. And if you confess your sin to mankind, that they themselves, they need someone to forgive them their sin. Means Jesus Christ, to forgive them their sin. And if you confess your sin to them and you don't confess to Jesus Christ, you still gonna be guilty because when Jesus Christ come, all your sin will be upon you and you will be doomed. The devil behind the scene, you confess your sin to this humankind, or you know, they call them, you know, like I says, priests. They are own people that they set them up in their churches. And a lot of time, instead of praying to Jesus Christ, they also pray to Mary. You don't find in the Bible, God used the poor. God used Peter. God used Moses. He used a lot of prophets, apostles, disciples. Does it mean that we have to pray to them? God used Miriam. A lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, prophetess. Notice. Does it mean that we have to pray to them? A lot of Christians, friends, they are saint. The word saint means that Jesus Christ died for you. Notice, means you've been forgiven by the blood of the Lamb. That's why another word for the Bible, Bible called us saint. But this power, they want you to pray to saint, means mankind, friends. But you have to understand that they are pagans, so they don't understand the Bible. And, uh, you know, some of them, even though when they do understand, because they're not converted since dark ages, because they enter in the church to control people. They are pagans because they don't know anything about Christianity, and they're using to conquer the world. It's a Bible prophecy. And now because of that, since Vatican second 1960s, when they send their Jesuit orders and all the Masons and all this group, and the Jesuit when they learn Protestants, Sunday churches, notice that's the no, that's how I mean they call them Protestants. They learn their doctrines and they know how to debate with them, you know, tell them what it, which is which and everything. So they think, you know, they are pastors. And a lot of them is being deceived, friends. This is dangerous. And a lot of them, and now they, one of their adoption, they think, well, 
you know, Jesus Christ is going to come and he's going to take them to heaven. So that they're not going to be here. They're not going to suffer for persecution, tribulations. They're not going to go through. This is the Antichrist because they don't want them to point their fingers on them and protest against their false doctrine. Now they control the whole world. Oh, friends. And now I'm going to read it from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 so that you will know. And once I finish, you tell me if we're going to go through the persecution before Jesus comes or Jesus is going to come before we go through persecution. Notice, if you think that you're not going to be here, the devil are deceiving you so that you will have the worship, the mark of the beast while you have no crew. It's a big deception. That's what Revelation 12 verse 9 help us to understand. Notice, help us to understand that the devil will deceive the whole world. Bible also says in the book of Hosea, my people are lack of knowledge, friends. God don't want you to be blind, friends. He wants you to understand Bible prophecy. But just in case, if you fear, if you fear, that's why you think you're not going to go through and accept they are, they are satanic doctrine that is sweeping a lot of Sunday churches. Friends, you have to understand what God did for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Notice in Daniel chapter 3, and he did the same thing for Daniel. Notice in Daniel chapter 6, King Darius. Remember the story, if you read your Bible. When they throw Daniel to the lions then, and also like I said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, friend, God protect them. That help us to understand that God has the power to stop pain. Not even their clothes will smell. Friends, God is almighty God. Notice He's powerful, friends. Oh, friends. It is written, they have the form of godliness, but they deny His power. Don't deny the power of God. Remember the Red Sea, friend. God can do everything, friends. Is anything is too hard for God? The one who wrote Revelation, notice John. The island of Patmos, notice. Before they tried to kill him, they did everything they can to bore him, friend. He didn't die. That help you to know that God is in control. When they son Stephen, notice. Stephen, his face was shining according to the book of Acts. Friends, when they burned the Protestant at the stake, know the Sunday churches, their forefathers, Protestants, Protestants, Horse, Jerome, and a lot of them, notice. They sing when they was burning them, notice at the stake. They sing gospel until their voice died out. That makes you know the guy has the power to stop pain. All you got to do is stand for God and be counted and have the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and preach the straight truth and warning the people to not have the mark of the beast that the Bible says in Revelation 14 verses 6 to 12. Read it, friends. You will find out for the sake of time. I want you to read it. You will find out that, you know, we the one that God help us to understand that, you know, notice God, God, you know, he compared us with the angel. And we're preaching this final crisis, this gospel to one the whole world. To not receive the mark of the beast. Sometimes angels, especially when it comes to Bible prophecy, the word angel, sometimes it represent messengers. Even Greek word, notice. But sometimes it also represent angels, notice. But at this time, Revelation 14, that's it, just in case if you don't understand. Read it like it says, verse 6. If you read it from verse 6 to 11, God tells you the gospel that we preach. We're warning the whole world to not receive the mark of the beast. And then verse 12, He tells us who we are. We keep the commandment of God and the faith of Jesus Christ, friends. And now let's read 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. I'm going to start from verse 1. And this will help you to know, notice, this chapter is the chapter that a lot of Sunday churches during dark ages, Protestants, notice, Protestant Martin Luther, you know, a lot of them, they used to use this chapter to prove the Antichrist. 
to rebuke the Antichrist. But now Sunday churches, they don't know who the Antichrist is anymore. This is sad. So know this verse 1.